Hey, what's up guys? Rami here with another second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update for Tuesday, September 8th. The Senate is back in DC today and we got some stimulus updates already from some senators that you should know about. We're getting a lot of movement on stimulus and this is going to be a huge, huge week. So let's get to all the details in this very short video right after you please hit the like button on the video and subscribe if you haven't already so I can update you on everything regarding the second stimulus check and stimulus package plus more money and finance news. Mitch McConnell said today the Senate Republican majority is introducing a new targeted proposal focused on some of the very most urgent healthcare, education, and economic issues. I will be moving immediately today to set up a floor vote as soon as this week. The bill he is going to introduce is the skinny bill that is going to include the federal unemployment boost, second round of PPP money, $105 billion for schools, money for testing and vaccines, and liability protections. The Republicans are struggling to get 51 votes from their party and even harder time to get 60 votes to prevent a Democrat filibuster. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer had this to say about the skinny bill. Republicans may call their proposal skinny, but it would be more appropriate to call it emaciated. Their proposal appears to be completely inadequate and by every measure fails to meet the needs of the American people. So the problem is that this skinny bill is not going to have some high priority items for Democrats, so it will be difficult to have it pass. It doesn't have stimulus checks, it doesn't have money for states and local government and many other things too, but Mitch McConnell said that Republicans believe the many serious differences between our two parties should not stand in the way of agreeing where we can agree and making law that helps our nation. I will make sure every Senate Democrat who has said they'd like to reach an agreement gets the opportunity to walk the walk. At this point, Mitch McConnell is trying to force a vote just to try to help vulnerable Republican senators who are up for re-election so they can just go back to their states and say, listen, we passed something reasonable, but the Democrats didn't want to do it. This is not going to help. They need to get something done that both parties can compromise and agree on. So if that means they pass this $500 billion bill and do the stimulus checks through approval of the repurposing of that $300 billion left over from the CARES Act, then let's do that. That could really work and help a lot of people. Then we have slightly good news from other senators like John Barrasso saying, our members are continuing to work and discuss ways to put our best foot forward on something in which we agree on. To me, it's a targeted bill targeted on specifically getting people back to work, getting kids back to school, and getting the virus into the rearview mirror. And that's where the focus is. The problem is going to be the roadblocks from Schumer and Pelosi. Then he had the, this to say, Pelosi is calling the shots Schumer is just her deputy at this point and doing her bidding. It does seem like Nancy Pelosi is the one leading all the Democrats in the House and the Senate. She is controlling everything on the Democratic side. That's kind of frustrating. Also, Senator Lindsey Graham said, I think a relief package will probably help both parties because there is a need. I think this is one of the issues where I'm not so sure the political benefit is one versus the other as much as it is that we actually need to do something. Yes, we do really need something and both parties need to stop the political bickering and get something done already hopefully this week. That's all I have for you today. Let's see what this bill will look like and how they're going to vote on it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos for you. And make sure to check the link in the description for the SoFi Money account, which is a checking slash savings account, not a stocks or investment account. If you open an account using the link below and deposit $500, you'll get a $50 bonus. Then you can refer your family and friends and get $50 from every referral up to $10,000 per year. So that's a good way to make a couple of hundred dollars right there while we wait for this second stimulus check. The account has no fees and no minimum fees and no overdraft fees and no ATM fees at over 55,000 ATMs around the world. Also, don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and one free stock from Webull potentially worth up to $1,600 when you deposit only $100, which is just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. Links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, 
and I'll see you in the next video.